very tough tournament to place in. Um, so I'm really interested to see how she does with this submission only style. I think the plan for Josie today is going to be to, to need to pass to the outside. Controlling the hips of those movement art uh, folks with their two-on-one grips is going to be something that you really have to work through. Um, and that's what we're seeing with Yana right now, that two-on-one on Josie's left hand here. Yeah, and Yana's got really long legs, and you can tell that she has a lot of hip flexibility, which is going to make passing tough. Um, Yana here looking potentially for some De La Hiva, but Josie pulls the leg up. And Josie's got to do a... a, a Josie has to watch her arms, though, because they are so good at throwing their legs up. Um, so if Yana throws them up in a specific spot, she could really be at risk for triangles and arm bars. And I think Josie recognizes that. She's doing a good job keeping both of her arms on the outside here. I think Josie's doing a really good job of trying to pass to either side. You don't see that a lot. A lot of people will accept a, uh, to try to pass on one side only. Um, it's good to try to pass on either side of your opponent. She's in a little bit of trouble here. Yana looking to take the back. Uh, it looks like Josie has her right arm stuck in there as well. Uh, but she's going to come up across the cage, and I think she might potentially be able to face Jana in a second. Yeah, the positioning here is going to be tough for Yana to be able to actually lock up a, a tight back control um, until Josie, until she's able to kind of get that arm out and start to climb up and start working those hooks in. Uh, Josie's doing a good job, though, of trying to turn away and stop Yana from being able to get that other hook in. Um. Josie trying to get her own back to the mat um, as Yana tries to bolo. And let's see if Yana comes up or if she feels comfortable on the bottom. And Yana will come up to the top. Um, she's going to be in a knee cut pass here, keeping Josie up against the cage. Josie did a good job there, though, at getting her guard back um, and stopping because that was a pretty tight knee. She was already all, like 90% of the way past there. Um, and so that was a really good guard retention from Josie there. Absolutely, and I think Josie feels as equally comfortable as Yana does um, in guard, like I said. So she'll take a butterfly half here, and um, I know she's been working on leg lock, so we'll look to see if she goes for that far side leg or if she goes to attack like a Kimura. I'm curious to see if Yana's going to use the cage to try to collapse Josie's posture and possibly help her pass. But it looks like Josie's doing a really good job of defending and, um, you know, creating um, a good position out of one that wasn't great from the start. Absolutely. And look, now she's Coming got, right into yep. single leg X and possibly reaping. Yep, Josie looking in for a heel hook here. Um, but Yana did a, Yana's doing a good job of trying to keep her knee line out and keep herself out of danger. Um, but Josie's got time here. She's got some time on her side. You can tell Yana's really comfortable in this position. Um, you know, she, you can tell she's comfortable playing legs, and look at that. She just rolled out of that position really nicely. Um, a little bit of a scramble there. But Josie's still in a good position here. If she just needs to extend with her knees and get that. Yep. Absolutely. Both girls with really good guard and leg lock wow. IQ. A wow. lot of really good exchanges, up and down pressure here. Now Josie's back coming to the top, but Yana might be looking to maybe invert to the to Josie's leg. These are some great scrambles so far, guys. Absolutely. Like, uh, yeah. I'm, and that's I'm really one of the impressed. things I love to see about these lower weight classes is they're comfortable playing guard. They're comfortable playing top. They typically have a very technical jujitsu game because they have to when they're in the gym with people that are twice their size. What a recognition by Josie, almost Josie getting her back, taking and ending up getting to mount. Amazing. Only 40 seconds left. Um, I wonder if she'll choose to notice that she's got 40 seconds and just cook her, or if she actually will look for a sub in this last little bit here. Uh, Josie's corner calling to draw some energy out, being smart. Looks like she's in quarter mount. Oh, to side control. Yeah, again, that's some of the most interesting stuff about the arena format rules, right? Because you have to understand that, you know, in your normal jiu-jitsu match, if you get a sub, it's over. It the match like is over, you get your hand raised, and it's done. an arm choke. Yep, this could be, this could be tight here. Um, but you can, you can throw everything at the sub in the last 10 seconds of the round because when that bell rings, whether you get the sub or don't get the sub, the match is over. And under the arena format... She's got a 30 seconds to rest here. Now she's got to go right at it. So there is a strategic decision you have to make when you're in an advantageous position with short time is do you throw everything do, um, into the submission? So that Because otherwise the round was really worth nothing. No one scored anything. Or do you take some time to just cook your opponent and know that you're going to come out in round two and try and get that sub? Yeah, that's got to be disappointing for Josie. She had that locked up and it looked like it was tight. 
but the time ran out. So Yana's going to survive to see the next round without getting submitted. Um, so I'm curious to see how Josie comes out. That might have given her a little more confidence. Um, and here we go, round two. Josie Jim. pulls guard right away. This is different than what we saw last time. Yana was the first one to pull guard. So I'm interested to see if Josie's going to try and get in on the legs again. Um, she's doing a good job at trying to pull her into that butterfly. Maybe looking for some... Uh... Oh, yep, there we go. She's able to pull that leg in. Um, Impressive also... leg game. And yeah. Let's be reminded that this is a 15-year-old girl. Um, I'm thoroughly impressed. And that's the thing, right, considering that she's a 15-year-old yellow belt. How many, how many matches has she been in that heel hooks are allowed and all submissions are allowed? Um, so I'm interested to see. Like, obviously, you can see she's going for a straight ankle lock here. Um, but I want to see if she starts working some more of those uh, more advanced, higher-level leg locks that she may not have been able to use in other matches. I'm sure she gets plenty of reps in the gym. Um, we have... I, I can personally attest partners. to <laughs> I can personally attest to her having plenty of uh, reps trying to leg lock me um, and many others. So, like I said, Yana is just super comfortable here. She's really comfortable defending. Um, you can tell a good part of being in that position is just staying calm, right? Um, not getting too ahead of yourself, not panicking, and she's doing a really good job of that. And um, she's defending the straight ankle lock really well. Yeah, and you can see that uh, Josie's really trying to create some heel exposure here and she's using that she's using the straight ankle lock potentially to threaten the heel hook later if she can't get the tap um and oh and she gets, she the, gets tap. the tap the straight wow. ankle lock impressive all right so we're going into round three now so um, round three yana is definitely going to need to get a sub in this round if there's no if there's no sub in this round then josie wins because it's not it's not best of three it's most of three yeah, and you saw the energy from Josie. She almost had that submission locked up in the first round, and you could tell her body language coming out in the second round was just more confident, and she was like, you know, I can do this type of, of, of attitude and came out and put the pressure on Yana right away. Yana's super experienced, though, and um, I'm curious to see how this plays out in the third round because she knows she's behind now. Yeah, absolutely, and you can see there's, there's an extra fire that it seems like Josie's got here. Um, she is even picked up the pace even more. Um, she's getting more confidence as this match goes on. And Yana's gonna have to really start getting some offensive maneuvers here. She's um, attempting to go through that to that cut through pass, but Yana's doing a really good job of posting out and preventing her hips from passing. Yeah, she's got a strong frame there. But it looks like Josie is past. I can't see from my angle. Yeah, she's still got the leg locked in. The, the, she's, oh. Oh, she's about three quarters of the way through. Um, She's gonna want to try and she's gonna want to try and flatten Yana out and keep that top pressure. Now she could look her corner's calling for uh, some potential darces here. Um, oh, and there we go. She's going for a darce. She has to collapse the back of Yana's head in order to lock up this darce. Um, Yana's doing a really good job of defending and keeping her neck rigid, um, but it looks like with fatigue taking over, Josie's very strong. And it's starting, uh, the submission is starting to sink in. And there's, and there's the, top. the top. That was a beautiful, beautiful executed Dars there. Impressive. Um, 15 years old, Josie. How impressive is that? Extremely impressive. The future is bright. 15 years old, a yellow belt out here in a rule set that allows heel hooks and all sorts of submissions. And she takes home the win with a Darce in round three and a straight ankle lock in round two. We're gonna have Josie come to our post-match interview. Um, we saw a lot of impressive, uh, you know, le leg leg game from a very young girl. So um, back and forth. That's gonna be yeah. that's gonna be list on the list of up there for my performance of the night votes for sure. Josie, welcome to the table. Hello. How does it feel, first match in the arena format with the cage? I love it, I love using the cage, it's like a new challenge. So does that sound like you, did you prepare for this in a cage? Yes, I prepared like every day after class, a few hours. <laughs> after class, what grade are you in? I'm in 10th grade, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, 
Now, what kind of influence do coaches like Kat have on you? And here, you know, I know she's a training partner, but also your coach. Did um, did her encouragement play into your win tonight? Definitely, she's been encouraging me. All sorts of new type of passing and like locks. So I've been using that. It's really paid off. I like it. <laughs> So, two-part question here: Is this uh, is this the first rule set that you've been in that has allowed heel hooks? Uh, no, I've been doing some blue belt divisions, and they allow them there, so I've been working it a lot. Yeah. You can definitely tell by um, you know your leg lock prowess. You had really great offense in there, and so um, what do you think of the arena rule set with the three rounds, most of three? What were your thoughts out there? I love it. I like the the cardio aspect of it and how you can do basically anything you want. So, love it. <laughs> Congratulations. The future's bright. We're excited to see where you're going to go from here. Thank you. And I'm not excited for you to leg lock me later. <laughs> <laughs>